All right, boys and girls, here we are. May day, <laughs> May day five. Uh, here we are. Uh, number one, 28 equals a number times four. So four times something equals 28. So we can also think of it as 28 divided by four equals that number that goes right there. Okay, so uh, let's see. 28 divided by four. Um, I could split it in half and it's 14. And then I can split it in half again and it's seven. So 28 equals seven times four. All right, number two, write a division equation that is related to this multiplication example. So uh, 28 equals seven times four. We actually kind of did it already, didn't we? 28 divided by four equals seven. Uh, you could have 28 divided by seven equals four. Either one, same answers, right? Good to go. Number three, Rizzo went to the garden at 10, 15. He spent 30 minutes digging for insects. Then he ran off. <laughs> at what time did he leave the garden? All right, so handy dandy right here. 10, 15 it is. All right, let me move it to 10, 15. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15. All right, there's 10, 15. And he went to the garden at 10.15, and then he spent 30 minutes digging, and then he ran off. So what time did he leave? Uh, we got to count 30 minutes. So there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So what time is that? Uh, let's see. 10.45. Very good. 10.45. Boop, boop. Okay. Number four, make an estimate. Rosie weighs about 4 grams, 400 grams, 4,000 grams, or 4 kilograms. The best guess, 4 grams is too small. If you remember our little tiny gram stackers, 4 grams is less than that. Okay? Or maybe about, yeah, about, yeah less than that. 400 grams is the middle one, and that is going to be correct. Okay, a little baby chick will weigh about 400 grams. A full adult ch chicken would probably weigh, I mean, they vary, but they're probably up around the uh, three to, what is that, about uh, 1,500 grams, I think, is what it said, something like that. So about 1.5 or maybe 2 kilograms, something like that. But we are going to go with 400 grams for number four. Okay. Uh, and by the way, I cheated. I asked Google. <laughs> okay. Number five, partition the flowers and shade them to match each fraction. So we're going to have four circles. Oh, I wish I had my little template thingy. Oh, where'd that go? I'll have to find it again later because that thing worked really well. All right. So there's one... Two, three, four, okay. The first flower is one half. So I'm gonna split that down the middle. Boop. And there we go. There's one half, okay. And then we have three eighths. So I'm gonna split it in half this way. And I'm gonna split it in half this way. There's four. And then I'm gonna split it in half this way. And I'm gonna split it in half this way. Eight is kind of your standard pizza slice thing, okay. You get eight slices. That's pretty uh, pretty common. So we're going to shade three of those in. One, two, three. Uh, one third is our next one. So I'm going to go to the middle. I'm going to go up. And then I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to go over here. Well, that's not quite, is it? That That's not a very good example of one third. Because those ones are really big and this one's not that big. So I'm going to have to go like this, I think, right? Is that better? Okay. Anyway, it's about a third, okay? And we want one of them. 
All right, do two fourths. There's a half. There's two fourths. There's one fourth. There's two fourths. Okay, so give me a half up here. Three eighths on that one. One third here. And two fourths there. All right, thank you, boys and girls. We'll see you tomorrow for day six.